How's it going, YouTube? Dan the Plastic Man here. I hope you guys are doing well. Time for another unboxing, and this is another kit from my Christmas haul. And here it is, guys. 1 to 48 scale snow speeder from Empire Strikes Back. Very iconic machine. Fun to watch in the movie, if not completely outclassed by the Imperial Walkers. And proved to me that Luke is not as good a pilot as I thought he was. But anyways, uh, this is just like the X-Wing where I was unbelievably thrilled when Bandai got the license to make these kits. Still don't have the Y-Wing, but that should be rectified fairly soon, I hope. But let's take a look at the box art, okay? As you can see, we've got the snow speeder here. And I remember a lot of these actually having orange trim instead of the gray trim. But let's take a look around the box. We've got scenes from the movie. Front and back shot showing off some of the little gimmicks that we've got, such as a pilot figure and gunner figure. We've got opening air brakes. We've got lower air brakes. We've got two different cockpits, as with the X-Wing, one that's plastic and one that is just wireframe. And we have effect parts for the blasters. That's one thing the, the X-Wing had effect parts for the torpedoes, but I do like that we get these. Here on the side, we've just got another copy of the great cover art. And here on the back, it's just front side and top views. And then we got a nice shot here of the action base that it comes with. And it looks like, I can't really, I don't know if you can see it through this sticker, but it retails for 2,400 yen. So, let's take a look and see what we've got. Manual, I'll get that out of the way sticker sheet which is both peel off and well these are peel offs these are wet transfers these will not be used because i have a i'm not a fan of wet <laughs> water slides at all so i'll be using these on the x-wing these did perfectly fine for me all right bag one open. All right, we have a multicolored A plate, which is dark gray, like a gunmetal gray for seat cockpit. Here's the radiator fins, tow cable and gun. We've got clear for both, ooh, a couple different versions of the cockpit. I have to see what's going on with that in the manual, but this one, as you can see, that's solid here. It comes right through. I'll have to see what's going on with that. And also, we've got the... Oh, this must be for water slide versus uh, peel in place. And then we've got a lighter gray right here, which is probably just for some... Probably for pieces of the air brakes, if I had to guess. Next piece, well next tree, we have the main body and pieces for the laser cannons. Here's the arms for the air brakes. Here's the air brakes themselves. And a uh, quick question for you guys. How many of you ever built the old Ravel snow speeder that was about maybe this big? I was actually, I'm actually surprised how small this is, but at the same time could mean an easier build. So that's that plate. We've only got one more bag, so let me get this open. Get the plastic out of the way. All right. We have a C1 plate, which this is the insides of the air brakes and the back of the engines. Those are more engine pieces, and here is a... Here's our plastic just frame for the cockpit. Next, we have very l cute little laser effect parts. And I, <laughs> wow, that's just, <laughs> makes me giggle. And here we have action base with the arms. We've got our two pilot, we've got our pilot and gunner figure, and then we've got our laser cannon assemblies. So with the plates out of the way, let's take a look here at the manual, which shows, of course, the snow speeder, and we've got the same movie shots here. 
Now coming inside, looks like we're just gonna be putting the main hull together and then just very slowly putting together the laser cannons and then the looks like the lower air brakes right here are like you they don't move on their own you have to manually position them either down or up the upper ones i believe though can be popped up on their own and then here on the back we have the sticker guide oh boy well, it's kind of what you get yourself into with these with these Star Wars kits as I've seen so far. But, challenge accepted. So, that's it for the unbox of the Snowspeeder, guys. Hope you liked the video. If you did, leave me a like, subscribe to me, leave me some comments. I love reading them and I love getting to know you guys. And, you know, we're over 200, guys. Like I said, next giveaway at 250, but there's another big milestone coming up for the channel that I couldn't believe you know, at this time last year. We're nearly to 150 videos, guys, so I might try to do something a little special for that. So, again, if you like the video, leave me a like, subscribe to me, leave me some comments, and I'll see you guys at the next video. Take care, guys. Bye.